For more on the arrest in Rutherford County, we're joined now by Captain Jamie Kieber with the Rutherford County Sheriff's Department. Great to have you here, Captain. All right, FEMA says it suspended all rescue and recovery efforts on Saturday, sending this alert out that read, all federal responders in Rutherford County stand down and evacuate county immediately. What exactly happened? So Saturday afternoon, uh, the sheriff's office received information that a gentleman had made some kind of vague threat toward FEMA workers. And we started an investigation, was able to obtain the type of vehicle he was in, or at least the color of the vehicle. Uh, so we started doing an investigation and trying to track this person down. And then uh, an hour or so later, we actually received a... Uh, potential name, and then we started putting out a bolo, uh, be on the lookout for this individual. And then a couple hours later, we was able to find him at a grocery store in Lake Lure. You you actually arrested him. He was outside a grocery store, but also a FEMA aid distribution center, and he was armed at the time. Did you think he was there to do anything, un, you know, wrong, illegal, violent? Well, we're not sure what his motive was. Uh, he definitely was armed with a rifle and a handgun, and it was a site where a FEMA bus was located and also a makeshift donation center uh, for the residents of Rutherford County. Uh, but we're not sure what the, his exact motive was. He did make these threats, and uh, he was armed, so it was a potential uh, hostile environment. These reports of truckloads of armed militia hunting down FEMA workers, are these true or false? So we have no indication that there was, that these rumors are true. Uh, no one, to my knowledge, has actually seen this. Uh, that was something that was said. Uh, but right now we, we have no indication that those are true uh, statements. FEMA's director of communications was on this show late last week saying staff FEMA staff were, in fact, being threatened as they try to do their work. Volunteers from other organizations like the Cajun Navy say they have witnessed several of these threats. Have you gotten, not necessarily in Rutherford County, by the way, just all throughout North Carolina, have you gotten any reports of any sorts of verbal threats? I have not personally heard of any, and I've been in the Emergency Operations Center for the last week, and I have not heard anything from them saying that FEMA workers have been threatened here in our county. Uh, this, to my knowledge, is the only threat that we're aware of. So FEMA has says that it's changed the way it's operating there. One official said, for the safety of our staff and the survivors, we've, uh, we're, we're no longer going door to door to give out aid. We're just setting up and people now must come to us. Um, is, is this making it harder for folks there who desperately need help to get the help they need? I think that for the most part, it, it will not hurt uh, efforts. Uh, most of the people are mobile now. Uh, most of the roads are open. Uh, and the ones that are not open, are they're, I think they've been evacuated. So I think going to an actual FEMA site is not a, uh, a bad idea. And it certainly would keep the, the FEMA workers safe. Yeah. Um, and have you increased patrols at any of these areas as a result of this sort of heightened sensitivity right now? So we do have some extra patrol in the Lake Lure area, but we've always had it since the storm has happened. We've had outside agencies come in and help. Uh, I know Brunswick County Sheriff's Office sent some agents uh, or some officers. Uh, I think Macon or Madison County Sheriff's Office sent some officers or deputies and uh, I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but uh, we've had uh, an abundance of help that's come through, and we still have some uh, extra officers in the area. There's been a lot of misinformation, disinformation in the area about what FEMA is doing, what kind of help it's offering. How is that um, impacting the ability for people to get the help that they need? Um, are people, in fact, still refusing help because they erroneously, falsely believe that if they take 750 bucks in emergency cash, they won't get anything more, or they er erroneously believe uh, because somebody has said so, and it's not true, that the federal government will seize their land? Well, I, you know, we certainly have heard those different types of rumors, like $750 is just a loan, not a, uh, a one-time deal. But... It's just the first bit of help. Right, and it's, uh, it's, it's going to take a while, and, you know, the citizens of Chimney Rock and Lake Lore are certainly 
uh, getting the help that we have that has came from FEMA. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.